Oh yeah, I defeated her. Nice, congratulations. I'm just starting my battle with Maxi. Ah, uh, cool. So you're almost here then. Mighty Anna, hello there. Ah, this is up. No, this is not good. <laughs> uh, I had my Curlia first in my party, and obviously can't oh. do anything to a Dark type with her or with him. Yeah. Um. So I'm switching to. Actually, what should I switch to? Uh, Grovile. Uh, Grovile is a safe bet. Oh. Actually, I guess I could teach Overheat to um to my Torkoal now, because that's the TM she gives you. Oh yeah, I mean, unless you have any other idea for a fighter, fire Pokemon to, to use. I really don't. Mm. Actually, I might not have any fire Pokemon in my final team at all. There's nothing wrong with that. No, no. <laughs> I, I, I remember when I was little, I used to always kind of have like a, like a formula, sort of. For like the teams that I would build in Pokemon games. Yeah, and you'd have your fire type, your water type, your grass type, your electric type, your flying type, and something else that you liked. Yes, actually, you're exactly right. And for the fi for the final thing that you didn't mention, it would be like either a fighting rock, ground, or steel type. Oh, don't do this to me, May. I just beat the gym. I walk out, and guess who walks up? <laughs> Oh wait, no. I, I think she's just gonna she give you the sand goggles. Play. I think she just yeah, give... uh, they're the go goggles actually. How dare oh. you? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That I'm. I I, I need to learn, Pokemans. And then she just gets on her bike and rides away. Wow. So the so, next gym after this is Daddy, right? It is. It is, or it should be. I mean, I've never actually played Emerald before, but I'm just assuming it's like Ruby. Yeah, I think um, it's the same for Ruby and Sapphire, except the final gym leader has changed. Yes. And so is the champion. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, because uh, what's his name? Wallace is the champion now? I think that's his name, yeah. Because he used to be yeah, the final he's, gym he's leader. He's Wally's dad, right? What's the, uh, is, is he? I, I, he might be. I, I don't I know, actually. I could be wrong. I never actually beat Sapphire. But that yeah. feels right. I mean, you, you could be right. I didn't know this, but it definitely could be. I mean, yeah, again. You may be right. <laughs> you may be. I may be crazy. <laughs> Man, this but is... just may oh. be a lunatic you're looking for. <laughs> oh no, the sand attack is the death of me. No! Or almost. I mean, I'm probably gonna die here. Or well, not well, not not completely. I mean, yeah, this Pokemon will, yeah. Ling died. Ling died. Sending Oof. out Aqua next. Ah, uh, that is fitting to fight Maxi with Aqua. Oh, dude! I didn't even. I. Oh my God! We're playing Pokemon third generation, <laughs> which has the two teams: yep. Magma and Aqua. I named one of my Pokemon Aqua without even legitimately never thought about the correlation between Aqua and Aqua. Oh my god. Yeah, nice. That's insane. Uh, because I, now I mean... Now I can use Strength. Oh, oh wait, I already taught Strength to Gorka? Okay then. I named... Now two of my Pokemon have Strength. Oh, I mean, why not? Honestly, Strength is a pretty good normal type move. It's like, it's got good... I mean, power. Yeah, like it was a it was a straight upgrade from Headbutt. The oh. only difference is it doesn't flinch, but Headbutt is pretty good that. though, isn't it? Like it's it's not it's like slightly weaker, but still. Oh, I didn't read which Pokemon he was gonna send out. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, like it's only a ten point difference, and actually, flinch can be worth a lot when it works. It really can. Like, bite isn't great, but when I get in flinches with that, I'm like, wow, I love it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can really be fighting with weaker Pokemon here. I don't need to be leading with Mikau anymore. Mm, right. Uh, Curlia is the only Pokemon we share, right? I believe so. I think all three of us had a Curlia. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, but the two of us only share that one in our team, I think. Because you don't have a Gyarados. Nope. And you don't have a Zubat or a Golbat. No. Although we have used them in teams before. 
Right. Um, actually, my favorite double ballad group used to be a Crobat and a Machamp. That was a nice Ooh. pairing. Oh, nice. Crobat is definitely like a big favorite for me. Like, it's one I've used in several teams in the past, and well, using it in this one, of course. Well, he's not a Crobat yet, but yeah, we'll be... like Crobat once. Um, I guess that was just Generation Two. Yeah, once that got its third evolution, that line became fantastic. Oh, totally, absolutely. It's so it's it's cool looking and it's great competitively. Yeah, or at least I mean, it is way better looking than either of its previous evolutions. <laughs> yeah, really is. Like Zubat first form, just like a blind bat, just looking a little kind of derpy. And then Golbat. Yeah, and it was everywhere, and people hated it. That yes, that too is definitely. Hated because of just appearing all the time, and you just, you just don't you don't want to see it. Um, yeah. And then Golbat has that big, big old mouth, which is kind of also what um, Lavdred got. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But it's, it's the same kind of mouth. Yeah, and Lavdred actually, is just ground Golbat, and you can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> but yo, like Gyarados has that mouth too, sort of. Honestly. Yeah, that's true. It's like that big old mouth that just, for some reason, never closes. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine different Pokemon? Hmm? Good. Speak. Can you imagine, see a Golbat with his mouth closed? <laughs> That'd be like looking at Brock with his eyes open. <laughs> but but he did a few times. Like there there's he like did. like and that that yeah that is so strange. I'm yeah. gonna remove the meteorite. Yes. Or, or like Ash beating the Pokemon League. <laughs> yeah. But Actually, I think, he did do that eventually, yeah, he, too. yeah, he did. Like in Gen six or seven, right? Something like that. I think it was Gen six. Right. Yeah. Although that was Gen after. Gen seven doesn't really have a normal Pokemon League. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. I, I watched the Pokemon anime up to the. Almost the end of the fifth generation, um, which I think is longer than last that long. longer than most people I know. Yeah, I stopped during Gen four. I started during Gen three. Stopped during Gen four. Gotcha. I started during Gen one. I remember the first, not the first episode, but very early on. I remember the first episode I saw was the one where Ash caught Caterpie, which is like very early. Yeah, okay, that's like episode three or something. Yeah, something like that. Um, yeah. Actually, you know what you might like if you watch that much of the anime? What? One of my favorite Pokemon fan games is called Pokemon Fire Ash. And it, like, is a remake of every single game in the series up to this point in, like, the Gen 3 style. Except it's based on the anime. And, like, it includes, oh. like, different scenes from the anime. It includes areas that are completely original to the anime. Oh! Um, Whoa, oh like my god. Pokemon that are on every route based on the Pokemon that Ash finds on those routes. Wow. So does it also does it do like uh, like the story of the anime more or less? Yeah. Like um, even like you find the abandoned Charmander in the rain. You um, have to face off against the Squirtle squad. Oh my god. And last I checked they were updating it to include the Lola. So it, basically it's what Pokemon Yellow should have been. It's what Pokemon Yellow wanted to be. If they yeah. were to remake Pokemon Yellow, they would make this <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that's that's really cool. Oh my god. I know, that, right? I wonder, I wonder if, because there was that, that one episode where, like, there was like a combination of Blastoise and Venusaur, but it was actually like a ghastly, but it like made a hallucination. Oh yeah, the... Um, yeah, when they were going to, into the Pokemon Tower. So, that episode? I can't remember what the situation was, but it was like, they called it like the Venus Toys or something like that. I don't have memory of this. <laughs> it was, it was really weird. Obviously, it wasn't real, because I think it was like a hallucination or like a, some, some kind of mirage. Um, should I do a deepest lore for the Pokemon anime? <laughs> oh my god, you should, you should! Ah! <laughs> if you do, I would love to kind of try to help you out with that, because that's obviously you know, something I... would be I... totally down to do something with you. Yes, I'm 
definitely also. Because like I've got stuff to set up to do with Storm. I've got stuff to set up to do with Jordan. I don't have anything mm. set up to collab with you yet. Ooh. Although you can focus on gaming though, so I don't know if what would it fit on your channel. Obviously, it's your. But call. I also have this. I also do the Archie Sonic comic, so it works. Ah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I'm totally, totally down. Always down for stuff like that. And we had some talks also, you know, when I started Umami Manga, we had some talks about maybe oh, yeah. doing, like, talking about the Pokemon manga. Yo, I don't think, I think it was a light novel, actually. Oh, but there has been manga, like, too. Yeah, there definitely have been manga, and I would be totally down to do the Pokemon manga as well. Because mm -hmm. I actually read some of those growing up. Oh, yeah. But, um, also, there was, like... The light novel that was written by the guy who originally like wrote the first couple of Pokemon movies, but it was like super grim, dark, and edgy. Ooh! Wow! Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Would be fun to, like, because I don't really, I've never read. I mean, the only experience, like, the only thing I know about Pokemon really is the the games and the anime. Like, not really anything. Yeah, the Pokemon manga is far better than it has any right to be. Ooh. I'm really intrigued so, now. You know, yeah, let's sit down sometime and talk about doing some kind of collab for that. I guess it would probably make more sense on your channel. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd love to, to host you for, for something like that. Yeah. And I guess you're featuring on my channel here. So yeah, let's do that sometime. Yes, absolutely. That's a, good, a great plan. Hell yeah. I'm almost to leverage now. I I'm super excited cuz like from the from the start of the of the of this playthrough pretty much I knew that once I beat Flannery I'll be able to complete my team. So I'm almost there. Exciting. Almost there. I wonder how much I'll struggle with the with that gym battle though. I mean that last pokemon is really good. I mean like it one shot of both of my high level pokemon. Yeah. One of which was kind of, like, should have been good against it, right? Yeah, one of which is a water type. Right, water ground, even. <laughs> it was like... But wait, yeah. what move did it... If, do you remember what move it used to one-hit it? Overheat and body slam. Okay, so it probably used body slam to one-shot... hot one shot, um, Yeah, but uh, actually, it might have done that with overheat, too. Because, like, overheat is so powerful that after you use it, it reduces your special attack. True, it does. Although, it would have been, like... 0.25% effective on a Marsh Stomp, right? So that's like really um, bad. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, I think it, it probably was headbutt for Marsh Stomp. Should have yeah, yeah, that's right, because I made the joke about Marsh Stomp getting bodied. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I use Fury Swipes against Ball Toy? <laughs> Shit happens. It certainly does. I'm getting hit by a mudslap. Mmm. Oh yeah, I'm, and you know, the more I'm thinking about the fire gym now, I'm like, ah, oh, this probably... I'm, I'm feeling bad about it, because... Well, obviously I started with Trico, so my starter Pokemon won't do yeah. much good. Yeah, your starter Pokemon is literally the worst for this. Yes. And none of the others... I mean, Gyarados has resistance to fire-type attacks, so I guess that's something. Yep. But, again, you know, doesn't know any fire-type moves. <laughs> or, or water-type moves, sorry. Uh, burn Heal. Oh, I should definitely pick that one up. Yes, that is... It. Actually, I don't think any of my Pokemon got burned in that gym. They all died too quickly. Oh, <laughs> oh no. That's worrisome. <laughs> I mean, like I said, most of my Pokemon are massively underleveled. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's really those last two Pokemon you have to look out for. Mostly the Torkoal, but the last two are both decent. Gotcha. I never use the X items, like X accuracy and X attack. Neither do I. Like, I know that they're, like, used really commonly in a lot of challenge runs and also in, like, competitive play. Are they used... Wait, wait, point can here. you use... the? Can you use them in like in competitive battling? I think so. 
I don't. I didn't think I, you could I use could items. I think you can only like use held items and not items that you. Oh, gee, you might be right. Yeah. Mm. So I guess maybe I've just seen it in like Nuzlocke runs and stuff. Right. Yeah, I can imagine. I can definitely imagine them being useful there. For sure. Yeah, Nuzlocke runs were really challenging up to Generation Six when the EXP share became very overpowered. Yeah, that that was definitely a shift. Yeah, I'll I'll say like the first five generations. I think Nuzlocke's challenges are definitely a challenge. Uh, I I I've only attempted a Nuzlocke once, and it was in Gen Four, in Platinum. Uh, and I, oh, oh shit. Um. I don't think so. Yeah, Oregon definitely has better workers protection. That was a critical hit. Yo! I mean, on me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Oh. Oh, and then I got leech seeded to, to seeded to death. Alas, on like one leech um, seed. Are, are you fighting one of the oddishes that's in the um, previous route? No, I'm fighting a double battle on the path oh, to Laverage, like down the volcano. Yeah. I'm actually back there right now, too, because I skipped a whole bunch of these trainers because I was low on HP after the maxi battle. Ah, I see. So I'm coming back and I'm fighting a bunch of them now. I'm using a level 3 Zigzagoon right now <laughs> just because I'm running low on Pokemon. <laughs> and against these level 20-something opponents. He's definitely well, going to He's going to get one-shotted shortly. Oh, he leveled up to level 4. Oh, nice. And he didn't get attacked. Will his rock match kill this Magnemite? It did! Oh my god! He killed a level 21 opponent. Respect. That That is... Massive respect. Mad respect. To that. Big poke respect. That, that, that's my AGM, AGM slave. I just threw him out because <laughs> I didn't really have anything else. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh, level six now. He's level. Le he's doubled his level in this one battle. That makes sense. Yes, it does. <laughs> and with that, I am probably down all the way to Laverage Town. I love the bubble bath in Laverage. Triathlete Julio. Huh? Um, there is a trainer on this route named Triathlete Julio. That's pretty rad. Yeah, it's a nice name. Very nice. I wish I had a cool name like that. So psychic types are good against steel types, right? No. That's how that works? Not No, not, not to steel. Oh, yeah, that's right. So steel types were created to weaken psychic types. That's right. <laughs> no, I actually, I don't know what the correlation between psychic and steel is. Um, well, the real world, like, why it makes sense is, you know, the whole idea of wearing a tinfoil hat to make it so that aliens can't read your mind. Oh, that, oh yeah, you're right, you're right. So I guess there's... But the steel type was also created because the psychic type was utterly broken in Gen 1. So I suppose... Hmm. the only thing psychic was weak to was ghost types, and the only ghost types were also poison types. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, psychic was very overpowered in the first generation. Um, oh yeah. Very, but, um, oh shit, um, what was I gonna say, um, I do not know, what were we talking about, god damn it, well I guess it wasn't important, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I've had a few glasses of wine tonight. I have not. That's probably good. Are you me. working tomorrow? No. Wait, I haven't I told you I don't work right now? I still don't work. I still haven't gotten the Oh, job. you still don't work? I, still... I, I assumed at some point over the last... I know. <laughs> when you started 2020, you didn't uh, decide that you were going to start going back to school? Yeah, well, I know. It's, it's insane. It's, it's weird. I, I quit my job in June last year. Yeah, because you were planning on going back to school, but COVID kind of kept that from being a thing, if I recall. Exactly. But I also... Oh my god! Goldbat is evolving! Hey! I, Friendship. The, exactly. Friendly friend friend. It's so much... I, I love it when these evolutions happen, because you don't know when. It's not, like, level-based. It just, like, it happens whenever yeah. it happens. And it's like, oh my god. So it's always a surprise. I love that surprise. It's like... I guess like the same kind of like childlike joy that I got as a kid when you know I guess people or yeah. Pokemon evolved when normally you through level everything. up, but you didn't know it. Yeah, it's like oh my god, Cinnacool is evolving into Quillava. Oh my god, but it's just level fourteen. Yeah, that's like a really early level, by the way, for an evolution. Usually starters yeah, evolve at sixteen. Usually it's like sixteen. Yeah, sixteen yeah. is definitely the most common, but there's a few. Odd ones like Cinequil to Kulava is at 14, if I recall. Yeah, that could be right. I think the first one I memorized was, of course, Turtwig, Gravel Torterra, and I think that's like a level 18 evolution. It's a pretty late one. Oh, yeah, that sounds familiar, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, like, isn't the final evolution at, like, twice the level of the first evolution? Something I, like that? I don't think it always is. I don't think that's a pattern. I think 36 is definitely the most common. Oh, my bag is full. Yeah, I've had that issue. I don't remember the last time I've had a full bag in a non-Gen 1 Pokemon game. Oh, really? <laughs> I feel like it happens yeah. all the time in the games where the bag is limited. When yeah, I feel stupid to have the bag be limited at this point. Yeah, I agree. But it was worse in Generation 1. Because yeah, you only oh, yeah. had, like, one bag pocket. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, and all the key items just kept on taking up space, and you couldn't, you can't, like, get rid of those. So, like, the yeah. further, the that, further you get... You can get... put them in the PC. You can store them in the PC. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. That's actually good to know, because I'm... Yeah, I only... Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and, like, that's the same uh, way that you get, like, the early game potion in every game. True, exactly, exactly, yeah. I knew, I knew about that, but I never thought to put my key items into that. But yeah. I, I've never done it before, except when I was playing through Gen 1. I beat that in like a single day. Oh, nice. And then I said, you know what, never again. <laughs> I say a single day, I mean like, you know, I stayed up overnight because I was a college student. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was... Yeah. Nice. I... Well, their pail is kind of pointless, isn't it? What do you mean key items can't be stored in the PC? Oh, so you were wrong? I think in the... I guess so. Or maybe in Oops. Gen 1 it's a, an option? And not here? Or, or I don't know. Sir, oh, actually, I think that's right. Because in Gen 1 you could also um, softlock yourself by putting all of your HMs in the, in the PC. Oh... Oh, you could put, like, those items, too. Gotcha. Yeah. Interesting. 